In this video, I'll show you a quick tutorial on how to make a Fortnite thumbnail in Canva. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm the gaming influencer helping 1000 channels get to 1000 subscribers. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Comment down below if this tutorial was helpful and let's get right into the video. By the way, if you haven't watched my last video on this series on how to use Photopea, then go watch that video before you watch this one by clicking on the YouTube card. So guys, the first thing that I want to do when you're in Canva is first you want to choose your design. So for this, we're going to go down to where it says youtube thumbnails because we're going to make a youtube thumbnail so we'll click on youtube thumbnails right here so these are different templates you can use for um your thumbnails so all you have to do is uh click on one on a template that you like so we're just going to click this one because i like it literally we have the template right here and all we have to do is customize it and uh edit the text and stuff to our liking so to be able to um, delete something all you have to do is click on um, whatever you want to delete and then you can click backspace or you can right click and click delete and then to be able to add a picture all you have to do is you have to go to uploads on the left hand side so for uploads you can either upload an image or a video just by clicking on it and uploading your image or you can just select an image in photos on the left hand side to pick a photo from Canva to use but right here we're just gonna click one that I already have an upload so we're just gonna click this uh man right here and then it'll he'll, you'll just he'll just appear here so all you have to do is just click on the whatever you have selected to be able to drag it make sure you're actually clicking on the image itself or the thing itself not just um the not just the background and then up here you can be able to increase the size just by going to one of these white corners around the image and uh clicking and dragging it and then let's just make this guy bigger yep this looks good and then over here we can um select um this right here just by clicking on it and clicking on the text to be able to change what text we want so I'm just gonna um just gonna erase this and say uh how to make thumbnails there we go just click off the screen to be for nothing else to show and as you can see we just replaced the thing that was already here with our own text how to make thumbnails and we can also click on the text right here and change this as well now you don't have to change it but if you want to you can just backspace or if you don't even want it if you don't want this text at all you can just backspace and and um delete all of it and let's do the same for this text too so from here you can click on the text and use the corners around the text to be able to click and drag to make the image bigger i mean to make the text bigger there we go that looks pretty solid if this video has been helpful so far then leave a like on the video anyways let's continue the video to be able to um customize um what color you want the text to be all i have to do is go up here to this uh a right here with colors on beneath it click on it and then you can be able to customize what you want the color of your text to be so for this i think right now it's pretty good with white and then to be able to change the saturation and other stuff for your images you just click on your image then go up to filter and then there's these different filters that you can use for your images to make your images better whatever thing you want your filter or every whatever you want your image to look like there's different filters for it and then you can also choose effects over here and then they have some effects that you can add to your image so there's like a split where it makes it like um colorful and then over here like 
trace just makes it like glitchy like there's there's different things that you can do liquefy their screen slice and if you make a mistake you can always just go up and click the um arrow that's going to the left to undo stuff so we're just gonna undo what we just did with all of our filters and then when you click adjust you can adjust the brightness contrast saturation tint blur excesses or vignette so we're just going to increase the brightness of this image and then we're also going to increase the saturation as well and a good thing that you can do is there's already blur so you can also adjust the blur which is very useful for blurry backgrounds then you can also crop the image by clicking on crop and selecting which part of the image you want to crop and just clicking done and then I'll just crop the image right here or just using these corners to crop the image to whatever you want the image to look like and then over here you can flip the image so you can flip it horizontally or just flip it so it's the other way which I really like and you can also flip it vertically so it'll go upside down so we're actually gonna keep it like this because I really like how it's on the left side we're gonna add a background to this so let me let me find a background and I'll show you guys how you can adjust the positioning of your images so guys I found my background image that I want to use so I'm gonna um make the size of this bigger so it covers the whole entire screen so guys once it covers the whole entire screen all you have to do to make everything just go to make the background image go behind everything is just to click off the image and then everything except the original background will just go in front and the background image that you selected will just go behind so as you can see the blue the dark blue background is now beneath this um grass so it's gonna it's very good and it just makes the image look way better so um basically to adjust the positioning of where of where you want your images to be either below another image or like over another image all you have to do is select which image you want and then go to position then you can either click backward to back and if it goes backward as you can see everything else is going over the image and then if it goes forward then the image I selected goes over and overlaps all the other images so yeah, that's basically how you can adjust the positioning so you can also click on the things that Canva provided the images that Canva provided for the template and also adjust the color of these images as well you can also crop these images and also flip these images but for right now I don't think we need these for this thumbnail right now so we're just gonna um, click on them and delete them real quick and then also if you can't if for some reason um, one an image is taking up too much space uh, that you can't adjust another image that's um, that's near it all I have to do is just move that image until you can select which image you wanted to select there we go now all the stuff from canva are deleted so now we just have the text and this if you click on the text you can also adjust the alignment and just basic stuff with text normally I'm just gonna do this many people don't know how to add a stroke to this um text in canva so i'm going to show you guys how to do that as well so what you can do is you can click on the text and you can actually click this plus this um thing over here that is a plus sign and what this basically does is it duplicates the text so when you click duplicate it basically makes um two of them uh and it's very useful if you don't if you want to save time and then uh what you do is you select either one of the text um that you duplicated and then you can adjust the text color of it and you can select um whatever color you want so for us we're just going to click black if you move the text to the other um piece of text that is duplicated it actually goes over and it looks like the text is a stroke um you have a the text has a stroke to it 
so um basically yeah it'll look kind of like this uh so that's how you can actually add strokes to your um text in uh canva if you're just wondering how you can do that so we're just gonna make this go backward um and look look at this literally it's a stroke in canva and many people don't know how to do this so i just showed you how um and then also you can also add elements um uh, which basically if you click on the element then it'll basically you can there's uh squares um, circles whatever um shapes you want it's also like these um stickers different things that you can add and um backgrounds that um backgrounds on canva that you can use as well and once you're done making your thumbnail all you have to do is just click download over here on the top right hand corner and then all you have to do is just click download right here and then after you click download it's basically downloaded on your computer and you can use it as an image for your Fortnite video. If you want to watch any of the other videos in this three part series on how to use the top three free thumbnail makers, check out the playlist by clicking or tapping the screen. And if you would like to learn how to grow your Twitch and send traffic to YouTube, then click or tap the YouTube video on screen and remember, keep grinding and I'll be flying. Peace.